Today's Tuesday, July 20, 2021. My name is Alex. I am your host at the Corporate Cowboys Podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. And uh, really, I was just uh, on my way to some work. And in doing so, well, I was just going to go through the motions here and get myself hyped up, get myself excited, feeling lively for work. And I could do it mentally at the flip of a switch if need be. But it's good to exercise. It's good to practice it. Why? Because knowing the steps that I take, being aware of the steps of the steps that I take in order to augment my mood means that I'll be able to uh, operate much more effectively in social settings. And again, at the end of the day, that's what this podcast is about. It's a project to improve and develop my social skills. So when I'm speaking with people, be it clients, be it opposition, be it managers, individuals in positions of authority, I might run through a little dialogue in my head, a scenario, if you will, that will allow me to practice, in a sense, practice. And in my head, it might be a mock interview, some kind of discussion, or a a debate on a somewhat more intellectual level. But it allows me to walk through my ideas in a sound, logical manner and then assess or evaluate my uh, abilities. Because that's what I want from this at the end of the day. I want skills. I want skills I can use. I want to take my abilities and, and hone my skills. So to hype myself up, I just have to think about the the very end. I suppose that seems counterintuitive, but if I can envision where it is I want to be at, if I can envision where it is I want to be at, then I can take the steps to get there. And I can implement them in, in a manner that's most efficient, most effective. So you could say that I see the problem or the issue that I want to deal with in the beginning, i.e. my social development, my social skills, developing my my professional skill set, and then where I want to be. So that difference from the beginning to the end and you could say, I'm, uh, I'm not working backwards, let's say, but having the end goal in mind, actively in mind, allows me to be, I guess, to have that perspective of the end, to have that vision of the end, and then guide myself from the beginning to it. You see, it's not necessarily working backwards. It's working towards it. It's having that goal in mind. And it might sound very basic, very cliche, but ultimately it's it's keeping it simple. And keeping it simple more often than not works best. There's some guy on the road who's swerving. I wonder what they're up to.
They might be drunk. They might be high. Who knows? Maybe they'll wreck. Maybe I'll get to witness uh, something exciting today, you know? <laughs> Hyping myself up. There's a lot to look forward to. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of bad. And uh, sometimes not all of it is productive. But that's the end goal. The end goal is to be productive. The end goal is to have been one step closer to the end. One step closer to the finish line. The, uh, the ultimate product that we want to put forth. And in doing so, we're better for it. And that comes with, uh, with dedication, with commitment. Yeah, this uh, person's wigging me out on the roadway, swerving in and out. It's pretty gnarly. Looking forward to the good and the bad means knowing that those challenges ahead of you are going to be opportunities always to improve. So you have to look forward to those opportunities. Even if they are difficult, you got to hype yourself up and say, I just got to get through this. I know it won't kill me. So because of that, for that simple fact, I'm going to be better. I'm going to win. I'm I'm going to win out at least. I mean, because there are At the end of the day, no winners, no losers. It's just people who aren't here anymore or people who are still here (laughs) and getting it in. That's why you can't, uh, you can't think too hard on uh, what you haven't been able to do only work on what you are willing to do next and in that way you can continue moving forward for some it's a lot to ask and I do understand I I know there is a sense not a satisfaction but a sense of complacency that comes with uh, with lethargy just not wanting to do anything and some might say that that's uh, depression or that's sloth but recognizing recognizing that we could be better recognizing that we can improve doesn't mean that others are going to improve with us so in doing so hyping oneself up You have to recognize that in your social group, whether or not you have a gang of hustlers, whether or not they're professionals and also in the same boat as you, you have to recognize that you are increasing in value by the simple fact that you have a vision of the end. You have a vision of where you want to be, what you want to accomplish. And taking even the smallest steps towards it every day or every moment I mean if if you can condition yourself to think of every moment as an opportunity to be better then I mean you're you're doing way you're you are doing the most right you are well above average and um, that's actually the level I aspire to be on at every moment and I won't lie at times I do falter. I do falter if I jump down a a rabbit hole on the internet or YouTube or what have you, researching a topic 
that I, I might know inside and out in the back of my hand, but it just becomes uh, almost masturbatory to an end where me re-researching, like going back and, and, and looking through whatever pages or whatever information, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll find something new. I'm hoping that it'll continue to stimulate me like it did when I first happened upon it. Sometimes you just got to drop it. Sometimes you have to move on to the next item. The next item won't be as familiar. The next item will be that challenge. We'll be challenging in the sense that it'll provide you the opportunity to learn. That's, that's the point at which you have to become excited and hype yourself up. Not the satisfaction you get from just understanding, but I suppose the, the stimulation, the uh, arousal you get from confronting something new. And that might be uh, some kind of internal or external conflict that needs your attention, that requires your attention. And you, you being able to approach it in, in an attitude and in a manner that positions you to develop socially and develop professionally I mean, my goodness, what more can you ask for? That shit's exciting. Just talking about it makes me feel some kind of way. You see? Those are the motions that I go through to hype myself up. It's fun. It's fun. I look forward to every day. Yeah, there are some days where, uh, where things seem dark. And the only light you have is sitting on your waist. <laughs> and the batteries don't work until you fucking shake it. Right? I mean a pistol. But um, again, those are, those are some days that you can actually look forward to. Those are days that you could look forward to working and doing better, being better. I mean, it's not, it's not a lot to ask for of life. And at the same time, when life gives you those opportunities, you have to know how to uh, appreciate them. It's not that you... It's not that you have to know, but you have to be able to. You have to have that ability to appreciate it and then take advantage of it. Completely and utterly exploit it. And that comes with a mentality much akin to being a criminal. See, that's some corporate cowboy shit. <laughs> If you haven't yet, you can follow uh, our page on Instagram. That's incorporating dot associates underscore I A. And um, you can subscribe to our Patreon. Donate monthly. Keep the operation nonprofit. That's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. As well as uh, use Venmo or PayPal dot me or uh, Cash App even. We've got one of each. The links are somewhere to be found. I'm sure you can find them. You're a smart guy or gal. But yeah, it's it's Tuesday. I just wanted to talk myself into uh, into today. Not that I was discouraged, but I could always kick it up another level I could always sharpen it and attune my attitude sharpen and attune my attitude how about sharp, sharpen and strop like a knife like a fucking dagger 
See, I can be sharp, right? But I can be sharpened, honed, and strapped. At least my attitude. My attitude towards things. And in doing so, it puts me in a position to address any issues in my daily work life in a very professional and very courteous manner. Just sharp. Sharp and attuned to social signals and symbols. So when the opportunity presents itself, I'm able to effectively navigate situations and completely... uh, completely what's the term I'm looking for completely redeem I guess completely redeem any and all contextual cues see that's just that's just additional exercise and I'm fucking doing the most (laughs) gonna get to fucking work (laughs) Take care.